So we've just arrived now at the uh, at Home Fell, and we're near a quarry as well, which is uh, looking very good. There's lots of very good looking trees, uh, silver birch, plenty of autumnal colour. So we're going to set off now and get our bags and head up onto the, the side of the hills and uh, hopefully get some good shots. Okay, I'll just talk you through this first shot I've set up here in the quarry. I have my Olympus EM5 set up on a tripod. I'm using a fairly standard zoom lens, it's the 14 to 45, using it fairly wide open. Uh, 4 to 3 format, got a polarizer on there just to boost those blue skies a little bit. And I have the trees to my right, which are very, very colourful. And I have the sky looking towards the mountain range in the background, which is the Lang Dales. I'm going to take this shot. And then I'm going to move on and try and shoot some more detailed pictures of the trees close up. Well, we've come across this beautiful little tarn nestled up on the hillside and I've managed to take a few pictures with the infrared, which look really impressive. And uh, we're also getting to the point where we're going to get some views now. It's going to be very nice up here later on, I can just see it. wildlife dilemma. Um, massive cow on that path, looking pretty serious. So I thought I'd take this path. Uh, massive cow on that path as well. So I am armed with a, a monopod with a GoPro on top. Uh, take no prisoners. Okay, I'm going for it. What a view! Right, despite it being still two hours before sunset, I am going to take this shot behind me because the light will eventually be clipped as the sun dips behind those mountains. And that's not that long off so I need to get this shot now and hopefully I'll get something a bit further along later with more foreground in the sun.
Okay, I'm pretty happy with the images I've shot from this location. It's a good position. I'm very happy with the setup. It's very windy though, so apologies for the sound quality. And I'm going to now decide where I'm going to shoot sunset. In less than two hours, I need to get myself in a position. So I'll meet up with Robin, we'll look at our options, see where the sun's going to go down, and position ourselves in readiness. We've had a bit of a conflab and we've decided to actually move on from this location. We have about an hour and 40 minutes till sunset and rather than shoot more of the same, we think we're going to give somewhere else a try. And we're going to go to Tarn House, which is a very famous location, very picturesque, a bit chocolate boxy. But by the time we get there, it should be a bit quieter. And the sunset's not in a bad position this time of year. So we're going to head off now, back to the car, take about half an hour or so, 15, 20 minute drive. It's going to give us enough time to set up and hopefully catch that sunset. Okay, we've arrived at Tarn House now with only about 45 minutes before the sun sets and the cloud is looking absolutely amazing behind me. Foreground's going into shadow, but that's not a problem because we're going to get the light show, hopefully, over the Langdales. And that could make an amazing end to an amazingly good day. It's amazing how long the sun actually catches the trees. They were only about half an hour off sunset, but we're still getting it on the top of the trees, which is amazing. And hopefully it's going to stay like that for a little bit longer because then my foreground will be rather dull. Well, that's just about it for the day. The, the light's gone out of the sky now. We've got all we possibly can and it's time to head home knowing when to finish. This is part of, the, uh, part of the skill of landscape photography. It's cold and it's very windy on the hillside. A couple of hours home so probably best we set off now. I've really enjoyed the day. Some fantastic locations. A couple of places I've not shot before. I hope you've enjoyed the videos. If you have please subscribe and I'll see you again next time.